Hello! My name is Amy, and my current favorite number that is over a million is 8,388,607. Well, what is this? This is my current favorite number that is under a million, and I love them both for the same reason, so let's go into this one first. 2047 looks like it should be prime, but it's not. It is 23 times 89. Now, when I say it looks like it should be prime, I'm talking about Mersenne primes, specifically. Check out other videos on YouTube. There are fascinating ones that go into a lot of detail, and we'll do a quick overview right now. So we're looking at numbers that are of the form one less than a power of two. Sometimes this will be prime, and we call that a Mersenne prime. Sometimes this is composite, and we'll just call that a Mersenne number. It's still a number, it's just not prime. For quite a while, humanity saw a pattern that if we have n is prime, then 2 to the power of n minus 1 is prime. And this pattern holds for quite a while. If n is not prime, then this thing also is not prime. But when n is prime, it seems to hold. Then we reached discovery. When n is 11, we get 2047, which is not prime. It's 23 times 89. So suddenly, we had a break in our pattern. Why? What is happening? The next time this happens, where n is prime, but 2 to the power of n minus 1 is not prime, is when n is 23, and we get my next favorite number, which is over a million, 8,388,607. This is equal to 47 times 178,481. So glad that calculators exist. So looking into this, I've been fascinated by the idea of Mersenne numbers and Mersenne primes and what causes the pattern, what even is the pattern, what happens with 2 to the n minus 1 being composite, is there a relationship between them? What is happening? So the relationship that I've been looking at the most lately is just looking at the factors first and then working backwards. 23, does it have any relationship to 11? Hmm, hard to say. 89, does it have any relationship to 11? Hmm, you know, if we just subtract 1, we get 22. Hmm, that's a multiple of 11. What if we subtract 1 from 89? Yeah, we get 88. That's a multiple of 11. Subtracting one from a factor seems to play a part. It seems to be a factor. What about this one? Is there also a pattern here? Let's take one minus 47. That's 46. Yep, that's a multiple of 23. Believe it or not, 178,480, which is one less than this factor, is a multiple of 23. There is something going on here. So, this is my conjecture at the moment. This is the next thing that I'm working on proving. So have a go at it yourself. I'm calling this the Clintberg Conjecture because that's my name. If someone else has beat me to it, please let me know. Here's the conjecture. For any prime that is not two, so greater than two, P divides one less than two to the power of P minus one. Looking at these examples, we're going to take that 23 is our P. 23, according to my conjecture, divides 2 to the power of 22 minus 1. And in this case of 23, it also somehow collapses down and also divides 2 to the power of 11 minus 1. Likewise, 89, as a prime number, divides 2 to the power of 88 minus 1. It also somehow collapses down and divides 2 to the power of 11 minus 1. So that's what I'm working on right now. Have a go at it if you like. That's what I will be doing. I'll see you next time.